what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to be talking about beetlejuice 2 in this video mostly here today we're also going to talk about some speculation surrounding scream 7 we're going to talk about the seventh entry in the jurassic park franchise and we're going to talk about this exciting announcement we got regarding the strangers chapter one from the from the official social media account page today so diving into beetlejuice 2 beetlejuice 2 will allegedly include a cameo from one male actor that has worked with Tim Burton a few times in the past, and it's not Johnny Depp in this role. If Johnny Depp has a role at all in this movie, it's not this one that I'm referring to. I don't know if he's in the film. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that he won't appear, but if he is or isn't, I don't know. But as of now, I'm gonna predict that Johnny Depp is not appearing. He's at least not portraying this character because there could in fact be multiple cameos. That's another thing that I'm kind of uncertain about if they might have multiple cameos and this is the only one that i now know about that again does not pertain to johnny depp but the actor in question that some of you have correctly predicted and others are way off about stars as a janitor that has an encounter with beetlejuice's wife dolores without saying anything too specific there should be at least one character death that stings depending on how it's executed so go ahead and start predicting what you think that will be and this is separate from the tragedy that causes the Dietz family to reunite now one other thing i want to talk about is going to be related to charles Dietz, who we know was originally played by jeffrey jones in that first movie jeffrey jones did some very heinous activities a decades ago at this point still heinous still to this day i didn't even know he did this up until a few years ago but his likeness appears to be a factor in the movie his likeness appears during the sequence but charles's role is mostly voice work i'm told from another actor but charles is again mostly played by a different person it's done in a way though that keeps jeffrey's face synonymous with the character of charles and i get what they're doing because to, to some degree having somebody else appear as charles it's not the biggest sin but to respect the creative likeness of the character that is jeffrey jones face so i i get why they creatively probably decided to just for this specific sequence in question i'm thinking of that i know he would appear in i get why they're doing it just to respect can canically how charles is supposed to look should look like jeffrey jones and i guess he's still going to look like jeffrey jones when he appears in beetlejuice 2 but most of the character's role is voice work anyway and it's for a very specific reason that you'll find out when the film drops and that's not jeffrey's voice that you're going to hear because he's again mostly portrayed by a different actor in the film but you'll see what i mean when the film drops this september as i put out a tweet a few weeks ago at this point there is a trailer ready i don't know why it hasn't dropped yet other than that they are just trying to get everything together and make everything finalized on whatever cut they want to drop and then that's when the trailer will drop alongside or and that's when or that's when the trailer will drop whenever they decide what cut of the movie they want to release because they have done a few different screenings of the film and one or more cuts obviously are not going to be released it's just going to be that specific one they want to drop so i'm predicting that once they decide on set cut they want to drop that's when we will get the trailer from warner brothers i've also heard that the ending could leave the door open for beetlejuice 3 I say could because this ending isn't how the story originally ended and there's always a chance that this cut doesn't get released. Michael Keaton apparently did great back in the role all this time later as Beetlejuice so it was like no time it passed and that's exactly how it should be and then a few signs of aging were, were there but Keaton seems to have not lost a step is what I've heard. If they go with the ending I've heard about, it doesn't exactly make it clear what's next in Beetlejuice 3. It's just leaving the door open for a Beetlejuice 3. Think of it like the ending of Scream 3. Scream 3 was intended to be the final chapter, but the door being left open when Sydney goes to walk away to watch the movie with Kincaid and Gail and Dewey could be interpreted as a sign that they're leaving the door open for future entries, but it doesn't make it clear what direction Scream 4 would go. That's what it seems like Beetlejuice 2 ends like. It's, it ends in a way that teases 3 without making it clear what 3 will be about. That's all I really want to talk about as it pertains to Beetlejuice 2 in this video here today. And again, keep, keep predicting who you think that cameo is. Some of you are right, others of you are way off. Now jumping into Jurassic Park. So Jurassic World 4, as I've been calling it and many others have been calling it, is tentatively 
according to Daniel RPK, tentatively titled Jurassic City. Now, the fact that the word tentative was used gives me hope that this title won't stick because it's not very enticing. Yes, it does come off a bit childish and it seems like you're going in reverse order because how do you go from park to world to city when naturally an organic progression probably would have been park city world. Not that a film's title is going to actually be the deciding factor if it's good or bad, but titles like I mentioned should entice a possible viewer, and this is not enticing to me at all. The film is also reportedly, according to production list, going to start filming in July on the 31st, I believe. If true, we should then start hearing casting announcements during the spring or early summer. I've seen the reactions to this title online, but I need to stress that Daniel used the word tentative, which means this likely won't stick, and I'm hopeful that it doesn't stick. I could see it being called Jurassic Kingdom or maybe some other title altogether that includes the words a Jurassic Park story so that the general public knows it's tied to the franchise. We'll see. Diving into Scream 7. So Paramount is cutting costs reportedly, according to The Hollywood Reporter, which has led to speculation and hope that Scream 7 loses its dis distribution deal with Paramount. However, if that were to happen, a new distributor would just pick it up. Look, I wish Melissa Barrera was part of the project. I really do. But Paramount pulling out wouldn't stop Scream 7. It would just be another hiccup on Spyglass's determination, you could say at this point. Unwilling to die determination to get this movie made and distributed. It's still going to come. Spyglass is not going to cancel it. At least there's no signs of it yet. If Paramount did pull out, companies like A24 or some other potential homes looking to expand their influence would just take over. Definitely A24, if they had an opportunity, they would distribute a screen movie so fast. I could see them doing it. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about here is The Strangers. So The Strangers Chapter 1 trailer is dropping tomorrow. The official Twitter page revealed this after three days of counting down with these cryptic images welcoming us to Oregon. I think the last one was a shot of a restaurant, one of them in the woods, something like that. But we got the announcement today that the trailer is going to arrive tomorrow with this cool poster and i'm sure the trailer is going to be exciting i believe there's supposed to be some exclusive footage shown at a convention as well but chances are it's going to be this trailer that we get tomorrow online and as i pointed out yes the trailer will be attached to imaginary when that drops in theaters so you guys can check it out in theaters as well let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next.